Okay, so today we're going to find out, can you set up a Fire Stick with an Amazon account without giving your credit or debit card details? Let's find out. First of all, let's go to our browser on our computer. Now, it's probably important to do this from a computer rather than from an app because it might pick up any uh, account details or it might not give us all the options that we uh, that we need. I'm going to open Microsoft Edge in Windows 10 and let's go to Amazon. So let's move my mouse over hello sign in and it's got the new customer start here so I left click start here. It's asking for my name so let's type my name in and my email address. I'm just going to blank this out because of obvious reasons. And I'm going to select a password, and again, I'll blank this out for obvious reasons. And I'm going to re-enter the password again. And then let's go create your Amazon account. <clears throat> okay, so it sent me an email, and um, it's going to want me to verify this by entering on a code. So uh, I'm just going to go and check my emails, and let's see if we've received an email from uh, Amazon. There we go, we've got an email, so I'm just going to type in a number. I'm just going to blank this out again and click verify. And that's it, we're in. What I now need to do is let's go to your account just here and let's go to your addresses and we want to add an address. So click on add an address. Okay, and again, I'm going to blank this out for security. Now you do have to put in a valid address here. So it wants the postcode first of all. So let's just type in our postcode and street number. It's filled in some of the details for me and I just left click add address down the bottom here and it's asking us to put in a phone number. So I'm just gonna blank this out and I'm gonna scroll down to add address and there we go it says address saved i'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and go to one click settings and left click one click settings and the address i've put in just to the right of it i'm going to make that default so left click make default okay so it's now asking for card details so let's click on the cross just there so it says default one click updated and uh, it's given us the address. So it did ask some card details, but I haven't put any in. Um, I just clicked on the cross in the top right hand corner to close that down. And it's now saying your default just here. Okay, so next thing to do then is to uh, set up the Fire Stick. So here's my brand new Amazon Fire TV Stick. So uh, let's open it, let's have a look what's inside the box, so let's just undo the wrapping, there we go, da, da, da. and as you can see there, Fire TV stick with Alexa voice remote, and it's the one with the little power button on the remote, okay. Let's peel that off and pull it open. There we go. Let's slide the whole thing out. There we go. Little black box there. And how do we open this now without dropping it everywhere? <clears throat> ah, there we go. Just like so. So as we can see there, we've got the instruction manual. Another instruction manual there. And another one just there. I'm just gonna pop this down. So we have our USB power cable, our extension cable just there, the fire stick just here in cellophane, let's just take that off, there we go, and we've got our remote, so let's undo that, take the wrapping off the front there, there 
There we go, one remote. And we've also got a plug. That's the UK plug, if you're a UK user. Got cellophane over that. Let's try and take that off. There we go, one plug. And there must, ah, there we go. The batteries for the remote. Just there. That's it. So, I'm going to grab the remote there and just going to put my thumb on that there and slide that down. And let's put the batteries in. I'm just going to check which way the batteries go. Okay, so there's the top of the remote. So the, the little nib on the top of the battery goes that way around, it goes there. And just grab the other battery. The top of the nib goes there, like so. And I just grab the back of the remote and clip it on. And there we go. Next thing we need to do is we plug this cable into here like so and the other end of the cable here goes into the bottom of the plug like so if you have trouble getting it in one way try it the other way this then plugs into a, uh, a plug socket a power socket and this plugs in to the HDMI port in the back of your TV. Just uh, just uh, something I forgot here, you've got this here. If uh, it's a bit tricky getting this into the back of your TV, then you can plug this into the extension like so, and that means that the fire stick will be a bit bendy because this plugs into the back of your TV. So it just means that you can bend the fire stick round a bit like so. Okay, so like I say, I'll come back to this in a moment once I've plugged it into the TV and we'll turn it on. Right, okay, so I've plugged the fire stick into the back of the TV and I've plugged the power adapter into the wall socket. So next thing we need to do is we need to change the channel on the, uh, the TV to HDMI. There we go, it's on HDMI. And as you can see, the fire stick is now loading. Okay, so it says tap home to pair. So let's tap the home button. And the blue light started flashing on the top of the remote. There we go. And it says press play pause to start. We select the country that we're in. In my case, English United Kingdom and press the middle button. And it's now scanning for networks. Okay, so I'm going to select my network. Um, what I'll do is I'll select my network there and I'll type in the password for the network. This is usually found on the back of your router or hub under uh, the wireless section, not the admin section. I'm just going to pause the video whilst I uh, type in the password here and we'll come back to it when I've done this bit. Okay, I've typed in the password and I've hidden it for obviously security reasons and we press the play pause button on the remote to connect. Okay, so it's connecting at the moment to my network. Shouldn't take too long. And there we go, connection successful. So it then checks for updates and it asks us, I already have an Amazon account or I'm a new Amazon customer. So I have already have an Amazon account. So let's select that. And I'm just gonna type in my Amazon ID. I'm just gonna pause this while I do it. Okay, so next thing to do is to press the play pause button once you've typed in your registered Amazon email address. And then it asks for the password. So uh, I'm just gonna type this in and uh, we'll come back to this once I've typed this in. And there we go, I've typed it in, I've hidden it for security reasons and I'm just gonna press the play pause button on the remote control. So there you go, registering your Amazon Fire TV and that's successfully registered. So it says your Amazon Fire TV stick is registered to Chris. Do you want to use this account? So, yep. So just press the middle button to continue. Ask me, do you want to save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon? Well, it's entirely up to you if you, uh, if you want to. 
if it's handy if you've got other Amazon devices, but uh, completely up to you. I'm going to say yes to that. Just press the middle button. And it's now asking, do you want to enable parental controls? Again, entirely up to you. If you've got kids that or, or children that um, are going to use this, then it might be worth enabling them. But I'm just going to say no to that at the moment. So selected no and press the middle button. And there you go. It's now saying preparing your remote for setup. So uh, it says we'll be playing music during the next step. Please make sure that the volume is turned up and then continue. Well, on this TV, I haven't got any volume. It's a, uh, it's a computer monitor, so, uh, so that's fine. I'm just going to click next, but you won't hear anything because it is a computer monitor that hasn't got speakers. So it says with your Fire TV remote pointed at your TV, toggle the volume up and down buttons. Did the music volume change and come out of the expected audio device? Well, I'm going to say yes to this because, uh, like I say, I wasn't expecting any music to come out anyway. So there you go. Your Fire TV remote is now successfully set up. So just press the OK button. It's checking the network speed. And here we go. Now it's going through a guide on setting up your uh, the rest of your Amazon Fire TV stick. So there you go. That's unboxing it and setting it up and registering it with your Amazon account. So there you go, that answered the question for you. No, you don't need to register a credit card with your Amazon Fire TV stick. You can do it without, just by following these instructions. Hope this guide helped. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.